We have removal coming up. Oh, that's that's new. I don't know what that sigil is, or that sign rather, since sigil has an actual meaning in the game. I should probably be careful with nomenclature. Okay, Skink is on its way out. We did get our fantastic wolf pal. Could use one blood goat now, or we could try and save it in case we get a great white next turn. Might be huge. So let's go squirrel to bullfrog. That's it for now. Ooh, double adder coming down the pipeline. Let's go here. Sting bug is not what I was looking for, friend. Unfortunately, that's not grand. You move to the right? Stage right or an audience right? I'm guessing it's going to be audience right. I was hoping to potentially force the skink into this row and block an adder. That would have been nice. But that's fine. Tis what it is. We could bring in a squirrel to go for a wolf. The bullfrog's going to die to you anyway. Submerged wolf will not. And we need to get some damage on the board. So when you put it that way... I think I take this, even though I kind of hate it. Squirrel, sack sack, to bring wolf in here. I think you'll be okay. Then we can afford the stink bug here. So that's nice. And what about you, black goat? Let's wait a turn on that. Let's see how this goes. Decent chunk of change. Give me great white. Oh my gosh, he's done it. Okay. In that case, sorry, stinky boy. Goodbye. Great white. I take. Slap you down here. Oh, you're going to get blocked. You go through, though. Rather comes next, but you're submerged. I think this works out, and I think we don't lose here because you kill these three at least. Let's do it. Whoa. Oh, overkill. Oh, I forgot that that's how that worked. Right. That's spectacular. And speaking of overkill, this is about to get absolutely absurd. I mean, I'll draw from here for funsies, but I'm not going to use it. Because this is going to be 15 damage, which means overkill by 12. Maybe? Let's see if we did this correct. Oh my gosh, look at all those teeth. Holy cow. Oh, holy moly. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Okay, what have we got? Work rant again. Cockroach. Unkillable. When it perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. That's not bad for the goat. I'd prefer to have endless sacrifice or whatever on the goat, but unkillable, it's good middle ground, it's something. Uh, the elusive otter, it submerges itself during my turn. Yes, it does. I, trust me, I know what submerge does. Don't get me wrong. Some more bones creatures might be good for the late game here. Especially in boss fights, if we can keep our lives around, then that greater smoke giving us those extra bones is huge. I want to know what you are so badly, but I guess we just have to go for removal instead. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. I'm so sorry. Do what you- oh, Stinkbug, you're so nice. Do what you must versus just nope. Stowed it has a bit of an attitude for sure. Could just kill Kaminsky. Probably just shouldn't have taken them in the first place if that was their plan. Bullfrog can go. You know, you're at least like a, a solid blocker, and you're one bone that we can use as a sacrifice to replenish said one bone. So, Bullfrog, thank you for your service. Good luck. 
Oh, yep. The game is always calling me out on these things. <laughs> always got to make me feel bad about my decisions. You callously slaughtered the bullfrog. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. The Bone Lord? What? What? A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you, friend. You shook off the viscera of the poor... Or I guess, viscera? You shook off the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carried onwards. Again, that, uh... That very descriptive wording leads uh, me to feel very uh, strangely about what we've done here. Thank you, free bone from the Bone Lord. <laughs> Lucky draw. I'm guessing you're in... You're... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Brain. Oh, you failed me today. You're suggesting that it's lucky because we draw you, if I had to guess. That seems like something that the the stoat would feel. Ringworm is a zero one with no sigil. Huh. I'm slightly suspicious of this. I feel like it's not telling me something, but squirrel, stoat, <laughs> throw you down there. Keep you alive. We'll see. Can't make any promises, but I think so. I think we'll keep you alive. Okay, and then we have to outpace these worker ants. Otherwise, they're gonna get real strong real fast. Yep, that's more damage than I would have liked, just straight off the cuff. Hmm, Squirrel does not get us the Great White, and I feel like we need the Great White. Let's see, there's a bee coming, worker ant coming. That's okay. Mantis has bifurcated. If we can put the great white shark here, that's huge. Um, uh, black goat, please. Kaminsky kind of works. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Crap. Oh, shucks. Um, you take a hit for us, so that's good. Let's see. We're two away from lethal. They have four damage on the board. I think I just have to use knife here. I really don't want to use that angler hook until we have something a little meatier to steal with it. But this stalls for a turn. Then I just have to draw black goat. They're still dealing three damage, so that's too much. So we have to blade. Goodbye, I. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, not great. Yeah, very nice. Perfect. No regrets. I don't feel bad about this at all. Um, do I still set Kaminsky? Because now we could take the four damage on the face. Get a squirrel next turn, bring out Great White. Let's, I think this works. Hopefully, I've not miscalculated. Oh, I miscalculated because... Mantis is also bifurcated strike. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. I hoped for more. Me too, mysterious friend. Me too. Do you care for a new eye? Sounds good. Oh, we get Diplopia again? Or this one has cool sigils on it. Ooh. I like Diplopia. But let's try this to see if anything interesting happens. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Hold up. Give me a moment. Is this a one or just a line? Give me a moment. Excuse me. Nothing weird going on here. Just don't mind me. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. We've done it. Holy crap. What is? The stunted wolf. Take the, before he sees it now. Take the film roll, turn to face. No, take. Camera roll. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything weird. Oh, I got shivers on that one. Oh, they're not going away. 
Sorry, friend. Don't mind me. Excuse me. Just grabbing some teeth. You know, like we do. Like we do all the time. Just normal. Normal, cool stuff. Nothing weird going on here. That's all the salt stuff. How do I... Okay. Film is for the camera, maybe? We also have the stunted wolf, which I kind of... We have. Do we have them on us? Two, two, missing an eye. Oh, only one blood, though. That's pretty huge. Oh, wait a second. Stoat? Um, what? Are, are you okay? <laughs> Stoat has become some weird, like, analog cranked, uh... I was originally gonna say like Game Boy, this looks like, you know, like a D-pad, maybe a couple buttons on the right. Could be something else though. I feel like I might be blanking on a, a bit more of an obvious answer. Anyway, uh, sorry, one second. One last thing that I forgot about. Anything special in here with the Ancestral Eye? No, in fact, I guess Ancestral Eye has kind of gone away by now. Click, 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 nothing. Okay. Huh. The mysteries continue. The mysteries abound here. Rather interesting with the bones, but no thank you. The adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Flying and submerge is nice, but not as good as what we already have in our deck. Snap. The sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end at its antlers. I have to take this, right? And it's a squirrel and a pronghorn? Give me a moment. Sorry, friend. Excuse me. Pardon me. Again, not doing anything weird or any nothing like that. Squirrel, pronghorn. Hmm. I feel like we almost have to sacrifice a fight to make this happen. Maybe if we get pronghorn in our starting deck. Go squirrel. We can use one of our... Black goats? Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Regardless, let's go for items since we're down a couple here. Okay. Oh, cut up a card. Oh my gosh. I was gonna start guessing other bodily horror that we'd have to inflict on ourselves, but not the case today, so that's nice. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Cut up one of your cards. Is this just removal? Really? You can do that? The flight fan is good. Let's take that, though. Some bone tokens for a rainy day. Oh. Oh, no. You can't use that. Can I? Can't I, friend? Um, yeah. Maybe. Apparently, I can. I'm worried that it's gonna punish me, but... Okay. Come on. Give me the pronghorn dream hand. Oh, that stumps in the way. I ought to thank you. How's it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see them. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. So your family, wait, the stunted wolf. We've played enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. <laughs> Dang it, missed a line there as I was trying to uh, remember what voice I gave the stink bug. Something, it was something like nasally probably. Oh no, you missed so much. Don't worry about Brent, just a little bit. We did cut out our own eye, which led to us picking up a cool glowing eye and we got into the clock. But that's, that's pretty much the main stuff. I guess the other slight uh, thing that we did discover is what a mantis god is. Because you were briefly mentioning mantis god a while ago. And we got that card for the first time and we put the uh, trifurcated attack on a great white shark. So I'm pretty excited to try and get that kicking off on a few more fights here. And oh uh, yeah, the stunted wolf is in there, right? It was, yeah, the stunted wolf and a roll of film. So maybe I'm going to try and snatch the camera again and do something funky? We'll see. 
It has the power of Mantis God. Works pretty fantastic. At least so it seemed. From my brief interactions. Well, let's see. We could put a flyer behind the stump. Or in front of it, rather. Hmm. Hey, you got the jar? Yeah, I don't know what it does. Mans over here said we couldn't use it. So I'm gonna... Wait. Failure. Oh, I see. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. I don't believe you. There's something. Something to be had. Also, let's see. You do just cut up. It is just straight removal to scissors, hey? That's wild. That seems very nice, but... Okay, let's bring Stunted Wolf out. Yeah, do you, know, you can go behind the stump since you'll fly over it anyway. Here we are. Indeed, we do be. Could throw a stink bug out while we're at it. You know what? Stink bug counteracts you, so I like that. I like it. I like it. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, we've only gone to use the uh, the trifurcated shark really in one fight so far, but it did allow us to overkill by like 10 points, so that was pretty sweet. What's far this we've gone in terms of map areas? So this is our first run back of the day here. Um, so it, the furthest we've been was exactly what you've seen in the past, where we got past the angler, right? We got past the angler last time. And otherwise have not gone past the, uh, the frozen wastelands or something or another, whatever it was. Um, but let's see, do I want to bother playing anything here? We hit through, oh, we have lethal. In that case, I might as well play the stoat, right? Fortunately, doing it this way, I feel like the stink bug would actually understand. The stink bug seems like a a good soul <laughs> on the board. Yes, you are, stoat. Stoat's a bit of a, a bit of a butt sometimes, but stink bug always has her back. Is always willing to be the the sacrifice to make it all work. Uh, and we're coming up to the angler here. Do you want just a normal card draft, or do you want the blood draft? We can afford one more three cost. Stinkbug gets it, you wouldn't call it a good soul though. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to see the, the truth behind it all. I'm guessing not much that's involved in this entire situation is a, a good soul. But wait, oh my gosh. Our friends here just revealed that, well, the stoat specifically revealed that they weren't always a card. They said that they got stuck in a card. And in the body of a stoat. And instead of getting ourselves back this time, we didn't see the Turinsky card. We saw Lewis and Kaminsky. I'm putting the pieces together, maybe? I don't want to look at chat, just in case. <laughs> no, I don't think, no, everyone's been pretty good for main spoilers, but I feel like there's something there. There's some, we're onto something here. But let's go with the blood, shall we? See what we can't eke out of this. One three in bones. Let's go with the three. Grizzly's nice. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's a card game? Oh, of course. <laughs> Souls, people dying and being reincarnated as stoat cards, none of that. It's just that's just a card game. Of course, my bad, my mistake. Let's see. I guess this is another little thing that we did achieve earlier in the day here. We met the woodcarver for the first time and been having some fun with this. You came upon the old woodcarver. You fix uh, who fixed her intense gaze upon you? After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Mantis? Too bad we don't still have that mantis around. Uh, let's see, we can do flying. Bird is useless, I guess. We, or not flying, leaping. One of these days, I'll get these straight on the first attempt. Powerful squirrel. Not flying, though. So yeah, squirrel with, like... Really, leafing or thorns is decent, but what I have been doing is wolf with flying because our wolf is kind of killing it right now. Don't want to switch over to powerful squirrels. 
And I think one more turn, because I want to keep our wolf flying, though. Thorns isn't bad, camp flying is also good. Yeah, this is what we've been sticking with for the past little while here. The gray-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Goodbye. I like you, you're one of my better, more favorite NPCs. It's angler time, okay, let's do this. I think we can take you out fast enough, especially if we can get that shark out there that's huge. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. Oh, just just the little run fish hanging from all the branches, of course. Just, you know, normal Tuesday stuff. A huge man approached. Oh, another voice I've forgotten. Oh, fish. Something like that, right? A less uh, excited version of my angler voice. So, okay, we know your fight now. You have all the submergibles, and you bring out the chum buckets. Unfortunately for you, friend, we have a strategy in place. So we bring bring you out onto the field, Brynth. You're a key part of our strategy. We could bring out Grizzly right away. Or we save you for Great White. Which I'm tempted to do. Take one damage. Yeah, we can always bail if things start to go poorly. You love to help? Perfect. We'll definitely be in here. Stale fish. Hard cheese. Oh, right. You hook me. What does that do again? Oh, no. I don't remember. Do you steal it? I think you do. He steals cards? Uh, no, 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 no. You can't do that. That's illegal. Yeah, he steals your most recent play. So unfortunately, this is not going to work out. We could steal the goat back. We have the same thing available to us. So that's, that's something. Otherwise, we might just have to save up a little bit here. Dang, I thought we had this angler fight in the bag. I thought we were good to go. Go to no tax, so it's not that bad to be on his side. That's true. It takes up the slot. Especially if it slides straight across. The Kingfisher is kind of held in reserve. I wouldn't mind. I'm just... Oh, every time I pass turn without doing anything, I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. I'm making foolish mistakes. Ah, nah. Go fish. Thanks, angler. You're really cool. Oof, so how could I do this? I could stockpile squirrels. I don't feel like that's the answer to life's problems. I do think I need setup turns, though. So let's take a squirrel in hand. Not play it, because I, I need it for myself, potentially. Huh. Oh crap, we die. We die next turn. Change of plans, folks. We could cut up a card, or we can angle. I worry about oh, that using the hook on our own character seems like a waste, because I think it allows us to steal something permanently, or semi-permanently at least, which seems like it could be better used someday in the future here. Things go bad so fast? Yeah, definitely a an understatement, but I get you there. So what I was thinking, we could steal goat, The question becomes, do I get it on the board? Can I read? Hook one of my cards and take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side. So yes. The answer is yes. I think this is worth it. Do a big summon to get life back? Exactly. So what I was feeling is that we hook you. Hook you. Mine. Then I'm gonna play Wolf or Grizzly. Grizzly hits slightly harder. The wolf does have flying and submerged, which is a nice little combo. Let's go Grizzly. Sack you to put the, the Grizzly down. Then, oh, your hook's not even out. Oh, I'm dumb. This whole plan was predicated on the idea that this dang 
old beastie would try and hook one of my critters. It turns out not to be the case, but that's fine. Still out damage you for the time being. Oh shit. Hard chores. Not wrong. Very hard shoes. Ah, now you're stealing my grizzly. I knew it. You son of a gun. Let's go main deck. Stink bug is huge. Play a squirrel or something. Play a squirrel or something when he aims. That will protect your best cards. Thanks, stink bug. We might even use you, friend. Not that you're not one of our best cards. Don't get me wrong, but we have squirrel now. This is why I kept the squirrel around. Because last turn I thought we had a hook on, in play, but that was just stupid. So. You were going to say that, stink bug? Well, I'm glad I have both to be on my side to help us get along. The black goat and the stink bug in my corner with the coaching advice. Let's go squirrel. Take a fish. Easy. Beautiful. We could go one further than this. Does this say owner's hand or it's created in my hand? Interesting. Stink bug, I'm sorry. Oh, right. No, we don't sack for you. I'm stupid. Dang it. I was saying that we sacrificed the squirrel, and then we can bring stink bug out. It would have been a whole thing. It would have been pretty incredible. But that's fine. I want wolf out when you're not going to hook them. So that we can shoot over the chum buckets. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Steal my squirrel. Don't mind if you do. You will block my grizzly, though, and that's bad. Oh, never mind. That's how it works. Right. I knew that. Whoops. Okay, fish. Go fish. Thanks, angler. Always one with the, the words, for sure. There's the pronghorn. I need pronghorn and squirrel in those positions, respectively, at some point. But I don't know if this fight's going to be the time to, uh get fancy with it so instead let us maybe stink bug just to get a body out we'll kill our squirrel no let's put you here you'll just hit past i don't mind that they have the kingfisher, so it's flying and submerged, so that works out for us. This finally puts us ahead of the curve. We don't quite win round one, but we're getting there. We've almost filled their side with trash, so that's nice. Um, should take squirrel, right? Yeah, I should. Especially with the hooks out. Oh, we win this phase right now. In that case, I think I do want you out. Complete phase. Definitely stalled to my brain out for a second, Brynth. Go for it. Okay, here do become in the chum, but I think that's okay. In fact, I'm going to steal from here. And what I'm thinking is something truly wild. Hold up. Give me a second to, to process. So I want wolf out there. I can sacrifice stink bug and squirrel for it. That's good no matter what because it is flying. It doesn't have to worry about bait, uh, bait buckets. So that's nice. Let's slap you out here. So that you're pinned and you won't move around. Hopefully you kill the shark. And then that means I feel like we should win next turn. Whole thing's going well. We only have three of these, right? Oh, well, that's so fun. Oh my gosh. See how well we can juggle? Anyway, slight uh, distra distraction for the moment. Can't speak either. We could not kill the bait bucket if we wanted. Kill our own grizzly to put out a stoat. Shut up, stoat. That was a great play, okay? It's super five head high IQ, genius moves. So yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You're dead. Give me 
Kinski, who are you? Who are you? Oh, wait, do we have four bone, to bone tokens now? One day I'll learn to speak properly. Maybe I should have taken a squirrel and tried to get the play here. That's fine. Let's just finish this fight. We at least beat the, the angler, so I'll take it. Absolutely fantastic. So many bones at our disposal. Will you be bone token? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Your lives are restored. Thank you, friend. Oh, we gained the... Oh, I completely forgot that we regained the life we lost when we beat a boss. That's awesome. Choose carefully. Let's see what we've got here. Ura Yuli, we've seen you before, yet. Yeah. Child 13 has endless. We need it. Oh, a largely unimpressive specimen. A strange larva that has mature. Well, I think I need child 13. Because I really want to get an endless black goat. That's all I want. I want Brent to be on the board forever, you know? I'm a simple man. Let's do it. Child 13, welcome to the squad. 